Hi everybody, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Today we're talking about dried herbs and spices and I've got some storage tips for you for helping to keep your dried herbs and spices fresh as long as possible. In general, there are five different factors that can cause herbs and spices to age and lose their flavor. And we don't want to use them when they lose their flavor because then our food doesn't have any flavor and it's not as good as we thought it should be. Those five factors are air, and more precisely, oxygen that's in the air, moisture, heat, light, and time as well. Keeping your dried flavorings away from those five factors can work together to help preserve your seasonings very, very well. Now, I've got some more tips on top of that. First, you want to keep them in a cool, dry, dark location away from heat. A lot of people have a habit of storing their herbs and spices just directly above the stove. It's very easy. Reach up there, add it to your pot of cooking food, put it right back up. No muss, no fuss. Well, the problem with that is the heat from your cooking will rise and can warm the area that the herbs and spices are in. Even if it's on the wall behind the stove, it can still be warmer there than if you kept them in a cupboard away from the stove. So to help keep them fresh longer, you want them to be away from the heat of the stove and the oven and don't store them behind or above the range because that's just really not the best place for them. You'll be needing to replace them a lot more frequently if you store them there. Now a lot of people will purchase their herbs and spices in bulk and because they use a lot of them and hey there's nothing wrong with doing that. To help keep them fresh you could transfer some of that from your big packaging into some small glass bottles and keep those in the spice cabinet and then take the rest and put it in an airtight package. It could be in its original container as long as you can get the air out of it as much as possible. You could even add an oxygen absorber to that container which will actually help to preserve them longer because remember oxygen is one of those no-nos that will help to age our herbs and spices. Close it up and keep it in a cool, dry, dark location certainly away from sunlight and away from heat. You could also store the extras in a glass mason jar with a sealable lid and put an oxygen absorber in the jar to absorb as much air and oxygen as possible and store it appropriately. Refill your small bottle as needed while you keep your bulk supply in a cool, dry, dark location away from uh, sunlight and heat. Some resources do suggest keeping spices from the red pepper family refrigerated to extend their freshness and flavor. And some examples here would be paprika, cayenne pepper, and chili powder. So if you want to keep those longer, try putting them in the refrigerator and that should help to extend their shelf life. Now this sounds like a simple given, duh, but you'd be surprised how many people don't do this. When you are measuring dried herbs and spices, don't use a wet or damp spoon. Always use a dry spoon, please, because if you use a wet spoon, for one thing, it's going to stick to that wet spoon and you won't be able to get it all off of there easily. And it's going to inject moisture into your container and that's one of the things that can possibly shorten the shelf life of your herb and spice. So, Again, don't measure it near boiling liquid of some sort because that's going to add moisture to it inside the container. You don't want to do that. So make sure you do it away from the stove and have a dry spoon. Now here's another, sounds like a given, but again it makes a difference. We need to think of these things now and then. When you buy new herbs and spices, be sure you rotate your flavorings accordingly. First in, first out. Use your oldest ones first. If you're not sure and you don't have a good way of keeping up with that, label your bottles with the date that you brought them home or with a best buy date that should be stamped on the bottle but 
eh, it's not always easily readable. So if you can't find that Best Buy date, label it with your own date that you bought it. And that will help to uh, keep things rotating and use the oldest one first, always. First in, first out. If you grow your own herbs, be sure they're completely dry before you store them. This is really essential for keeping them properly for the longest shelf life possible without inviting mold or spoilage along the way. When you're drying leaves, fresh herbs, you can test them. Rub a little bit between your fingers and if they're not overly crispy, there's probably still some moisture left in them. And one, another way that I have found, I will often dry them in a paper bag. Just wash them well, pat them dry a little bit, and then put them in a paper bag, and then shake that bag up and rotate it, flip it over at least once a day. And when I'm not sure if they're dry, I'll put my hand in the bag and crunch and feel the herbs with my hands and if they're not overly crunchy they're not dry sometimes they'll feel slightly cool to the touch if they feel slightly cool i also know that they are not completely dry and to just leave them in there longer another helpful hint which you may or may not be able to do but if you're growing your own herbs it's helpful to know that if you store the leaves whole even dried but whole It'll help to preserve their essential oils, which is what provides the aroma and flavor. The oils are held in small cells in the leaves, and when the leaves are crushed or processed in a food processor, those cells are broken open, exposing the essential oil to the air. And that can cause the oils to exit the leaf and go in the air, and the air smells good, but then when you go to use the leaf, it might not have as much flavor as you want it to. So it's going to take up more space. It's kind of a catch-22 here because it is going to take up more space in your storage if you don't crush the leaves first. But they should have more flavor for you in the end. I do hope this helps you out. Let me know if you have more tips for keeping herbs and spices fresh. This is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Bye for now.